Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nurul Hanan binti Asman from BIL 22/1. Going to present about good and transit insurance together with my group members Nur Aisha Alia, Nur Amira Marsufah, Nur Dini, Nurul Ainan Syah and Nurul Amelia Wahida. So, risk management is the process of identifying, assessing and organization's capital and profitability. There are a lot of reasons why risk management is really important to elite logistics sendirian berhad includes enables project success and help us make sensible strategic decision. Let's move to our topic which is goods in transit insurance. It helps protecting our product not only from theft but also loss or damage during transportation from one point to another point. If supplies, commodities or cargo loss stolen or destroyed during transit time, customer can recoup the cost by claiming under goods in transit. There are six process of risk management which is identify the potential losses, evaluate the potential losses, select a risk management technique, determine a suitable risk management technique, implement the risk management method and lastly monitor the risk management program all of this flow will be explained one by one from us assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Joe Emilia Wahida Ventura Duan today i would like to present my five wishes identify the potential losses regarding to the assignment our coaches good transit insurance we as a supplier elite Early logistics sender perhaps wants to supply the goods to our customer. So in case of that, we have uh, we directed to identify the potential losses what happened during this transaction. There are two types of as Bushwell has divided into. Firstly, liability which is property damage. Our company has supplied the electronic goods such as handphone and laptop. For the secondly is personal which is the transportation damage um, that we happen during the trip. As a result, a more impartial identification of the risk is achieved. So this can lead our company to become became carefully uh, for the next time to avoid the damage and lose. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ashala bin Tirosidi. Next, I will explain about point 2.2 point two, which is evaluate the potential losses. The potential loss that the elite logistics in Berhad might face for the first situation which is COVID-19 pandemic is initially the frequency and severity was high but now it is treated as moderate because we can treat the COVID-19 as a flu. This is because this 1 April 2022, our country has announced this COVID-19 is endemic phases where we can consider and treat it as flu. So in the past two years, all the transportation process need to be postponed and stopped immediately because of the COVID-19 virus that soared and caused good in transit to be disrupted for the delivery process. But now, all the business can be run smoothly and the shipment process will result in no delay of goods in transit. Secondly, for flood issue, the severity is high and the frequency is moderate because the flood is categorized in property risk which is natural disaster. This is because when there is a flood at the place of delivery of goods, this will cause the delivery process to be disrupted and also cause an effect on the property which is the delivery truck and goods such as laptop will be damaged. Thirdly, for lack of manpower, the severity is high and the frequency is moderate. This situation categorizes under liability risk, which is employee. This is because if the company lack employees, especially truck drivers, then the process of delivery of goods will be disrupted or slowed down. This causes the customer to not be able to receive their goods on time. Okay, for our situation, like accident in the transit, this will cause property risk, which is damage to property, such as electronic device like laptop and computer. Other than that, it's damage to the vehicles, which is truck, because if some incident happen in the transit, such as accident, it can affect the overall conditions of the vehicles and also can cause failure to the engine. Um, 
this situation has moderate frequency because the property may commonly cause damage and require immediate corrective action. The severity is also moderate. This includes in the property risk, which is damage and product defect while in transit. So, that's all for my parts. Thank you. The third process is select a risk management technique which is divided into three risk control, risk financing and internal risk reduction but in this case, we select two risk management techniques for our company which is risk control and risk financing. Risk control can help us reduce the frequency or severity of losses while risk financing help us necessitate a specific quality of funds. Risk control, for example, if our truck or any vehicle used to transport the goods facing problems such as accidents that cause damage towards goods before applying this technique. The, for the next time, this situation can be reduced to be happen. Risk financing, for example, if the goods damage during transit, we can cover the cost by insurance company. That's all for this process. Let's move to another process for further understanding. Hello everyone, my name is Nurul Aina Jihad Binti Khairul Anwar, ID 571 Okay, for my point, I want to discuss about uh, determine a uh, suitable risk management technique. Okay, to determine a uh, suitable risk management method, a uh, company should first determine which risks have uh, high or low frequencies and which risks have high or low uh, severity. So, it will help the firm to identify the technique for each risk depending on its um, severity and frequency. So, based on risk management technique that we choose for good in transit insurer, which is uh, risk control and risk financing, and it logistics as the MHD, choose risk prevention for risk control and insurance for risk financing. Okay, firstly, we choose uh, risk prevention for risk control. So, risk prevention uh, is a measure and action taken uh, in advance in order to prevent new risks or impact their development and strengthen So, uh, why is uh, risk prevention is important? It is because the ability to manage um, the risk will help company act more confidently on future business decisions. So, uh, risk prevention is very good because it can prevent uh, something bad from happening out of risk. So, it also can reduce the risk of something serious. Some example of risk prevention were reviewing uh, emergency procedures, monitoring safety device and others. So, Elite Logistics and uh, choose risk prevention because the frequency is moderate. So, it means that it's not always happen but can be happen sometimes if we do not take it as a serious matter. So, if risk happen, we already have a uh, risk prevention technique for our company to handle the case. Okay, other than that, for good in transit insurance, Elite Logistics uh, SDM HD also choose insurance for risk financing technique. Insurance taken um, is a risk transfer method. So, risk transfer is a risk management and control strategy that involves the transfer of pure risk contract from one party to another. So, an example is the purchase of uh, an insurance policy for which a certain risk of loss is transferred from the policyholder to the insurer. So, for risk transfer, the frequency is also in a moderate mode since we handle uh, good interest insurance. So, example of this are damage to a fire, fluid, lightning and liability risks that sometimes we are out of control. So, uh, this type of risk should be managed using risk transfer such as um, an insurance to avoid our company bear all the losses that can lead to using a lot of money of the company. These two techniques are the best for Elite Logistics as the NBHD for good in transit insurance since it provides protection against unintentional damage and other risks um, is in most basic form. So, a comprehensive all uh, risk policy on the other hand covers a variety of specific events such as uh, damage during loading, theft and negligence. Hi, I'm Nordini and I will present implement the risk management methods. First, risk prevention we will implement sop which is standard operating procedure for the driver and also for the packaging and arranging teams before start the journey the company must make sure the driver check the truck before going to destination for example, do a checklist on the truck like check the tires, brake, engine and many more. The packaging teams must make sure the goods is packaging with the suitable protection. And also the arranging team must arrange the goods in the truck with the best plan. 
The driver should stay organized by following the maintenance calendar. This will make sure the driver stay up to date with the truck along the maintenance. In here, the company can prevent the damage of goods and also prevent the truck having some problems on the road. Second, insurance. The company can transfer the risk through a contract with an insurance policy for their vehicles and the goods while in transit. Elite Logistics Syndrome Berhad can hiring an agent to help them to get better option of insurance policy of goods in transit with several insurance companies like RHB Insurance, ASA and many more. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Amira Marsufah and I will explain about the Monitor Risk Management Program. Following the risk management plan, regular monitoring is required because the risk manager must be able to access losses that have happened in terms of frequency and financial impact. So, here are the two ways we monitor for our company. Firstly is monitoring loss control. The SOP must be monitored to ensure all the staff and any parties comply with the rules and requirements and met performance. The outcome should be documented and reported. The monitoring processes of the loss control should be regularly implemented in order to ensure that controls are effective and efficient, identify new hazards, obtain additional information and detect changes which may need a modification of the risk treatments and SOP. The person in charge should review the risk register on regular basis such as doing monthly meeting to determine if any necessary action need to be taken. All of these findings and actions are used to analyze and continuously enhance the firm risk management system. Next is monitoring risk financing and insurance. First of all, we should develop a system that enables a review of certificates of the insurance for multi-year relationships. It is to confirm the availability of coverage and decide if existing coverage limitations are acceptable and match the terms of your agreement. A checklist can be created to follow when certifications are not obtained or information is not in compliance with your agreement standards. Moreover, record keeping of the insurance is also important as it functions as the future reference. Hence, certificates should be maintained to avoid any misinformation and ensure the acknowledgement of the insurance by any parties involved. In conclusion, there are six ways of mismanagement process and also benefits of good in-transit insurance. For example, elite logistics syndrome berhads can claim compensation if there is any resulting financial loss to the business including damage during loading, theft and negligence or loss of the goods while in transit. Without having insurance, the company can only have the minimum protection for their goods because freight forwarder and carriers typically have limited liability in the event of loss or damage or delay. So, if something happens such as accident while in transit, so the result can be loss of profits, productivity and buyer goodwill. So, a company can minimize the impact of such incidents on the business by being properly insured.